Hello, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are good. Had a great weekend. Welcome back to the reading practice session. Am I audible to all of you? Thank you. Thank you. So let's begin with I'm good. Thank you, Anita. Thank you so much. Let's begin with today's test. Hmm. Here is your test for today. The screen is shared and I'll show you the questions one by one. Make sure that you are timing yourself and be ready with pen and paper to take notes or whatever you can. And please listen to the explanations very, very carefully. Don't just focus on marking your answers and counting your scores. You should be more concerned about how uh, have we solved the question. Even if your answer is right, did you use the same method to find the answer? If not, then there is a learning, even though the answers are right. So here we begin the first question. You have two and a half minutes to put your answers in the chat box. And then post your answers in the chat box. And then we will have a discussion twice on each question so your time starts and start timing yourself as well
all right should be done this was an easy question but most of you have done it wrong the first blank particularly we have already discussed this but if this is a case that you did not note it down and you are doing it wrong then it's really very bad so whenever we talk about food the word that mostly goes with food is staple food staple food the meaning of staple food is the main food see main is a very common word main can be anything main strategy main road main fruit main vegetable anything main is used for anything and everything so that is why we have specific words which go with specific nouns so we have done this already in the blanks i think two or three times that whenever we talk about food which want to say that this is the main food of the region there is a particular word for that which means staple food so those who put main please note it down in terms of food always select staple you will always have it in the options and that is why principal and main means the same we cannot select them because principal again can be used with principal strategy principal method anything can be principal and predominant again means something which is the most important one so in terms of food you go with staple always palm oil has long been a staple food has long been a main food in a region dash from senegal to angola and i could see some of you writing reached don't you give yourself examples that can be say reached from sydney to melbourne because these are the names of land areas so just put any two land areas reached from sydney to melbourne lengthening from sydney to melbourne so these things are distance is never uh, said in length starting from sydney to melbourne is still fine but the right answer is stretching and this is also something that we have already discussed in the previous weeks whenever you explain the land stretch the land area starting from one area of land to the other area of land there is a particular word which is always used which is the stretch of the land and if it is used in a verb form then you will say land stretching from sydney to melbourne is these many kilometers so stretch means the area starting from this point to the other point so with land you always go with stretch of land please note it down rest river find during the deadly middle passage across the atlantic palm oil was a valued food that dash kept us alive so this is during the deadly middle passage this is a past tense story because the second part is also in past tense palm oil was a valued food that dash captives alive so we also have to go with past tense and everybody is right in selecting kept the captives alive then they say by the mid 1600s europeans were rubbing palm oil dash their own skin so any kind of lotion moisturizer oil anything is always rubbed on the skin this was easy that we put everything on the skin any kind of cream or oil so on their own screen too then they say by the 1790s british dash were adding so were tells us that we need a noun here and the noun has to be plural so any singular option should be first eliminated and then only you look at the other two options british dash were adding palm oil to soap for its reddish orange color and velvet like scent so who will make soap people means even we are people so we don't make soaps but soaps would be made made by someone who is in the business of making soaps so that is why it would be british entrepreneurs were adding palm oil to soap we cannot add oil to soap at our homes people who make it who manufacture it can add the ingredients so that is why it will be british entrepreneurs were adding palm oil to soap for its reddish orange color and velvet like scent so first one with food you always go with staple which means the main food the most important one the most common one the most commonly eaten one everything means staple food second we needed past tense because the story is of past past tense is being used in the sentence so we went with sorry the second one whenever we explain the area of land then you always go with the word stretch of land or land stretching from one area to another third one was simple past tense so kept was the only option we rub the oils and creams on our hands on our feet so on our skin and the last one we needed a plural noun and someone who will be making soap because only that person can add the oil in the soap so it will be entrepreneurs and not people and now anybody who is struggling in reading you should be differentiating that how i selected the answer how she is saying that i should have thought so whatever is the difference if you feel that oh i didn't noted were when i was looking at this sentence i didn't 
noted verb i didn't emphasize on verb then you need to write down that i have to check singular plural if you did not notice this was when you were selecting your answer then write down that i have to focus on the tense of the sentence only then things will improve so whenever i say okay with food comes apples this is a note to make right any confusions anyone in this question all good with all of you should have been a better response question number 2 2 and a half minutes and look at singular plural look at tenses look at collocations look at prepositions connectors conjunctions so we don't have any connector here but we do have conjunction so please note and remember recall the rules uh when you are solving any problem with the audio audio of my voice anybody facing problem no all right shikha please check your internet connection it's not from my side all right two and a half minutes question number 2 and then post your answers
should be done please post your answers those who haven't mr arman i didn't know we can climb up if anybody wants to suicide i think the method to suicide is to jump off something don't do this typing errors in the exam lemmings are small creatures with wild reputations in the 17th century so understand this sentence very very carefully because it's a very long sentence and we need to understand how to analyze the sentences in the 17th century naturalists means people dash by the habit of so how to read a sentence is whenever you have a noun people it should be accompanied by a verb after that but naturalist dash by the habit now by tells us that this is not the writing style if it is a very long sentence you have to find out where is the verb that what did naturalists do so the verb was naturalist came to the conclusion that the animals were being dashed and rated in the sky <coughs> and then falling to earth like rain so this is how you can simplify the sentence on how to read it go and find the verb if it's a very long sentence you have commas in between the verb will never be written right after the subject so you have to find it out now naturalist came to this conclusion we understand what the sentence is saying now we have to understand the additional information now these people and when you want to read the additional information just to understand you can always add helping verbs from your side is am are was were so naturalist were dash by the habit of lemmings to suddenly appear in large numbers this is how you can understand the part before the verb part so naturalist is plural they were talking about 17th century so i added were from my side just to understand this part naturalists were dash by the habit of lemmings to suddenly appear in large numbers and we know that before by will come ed form of verb right so we could we should first eliminate something with anything which is without ed and then these people naturalists were troubled by the habit now lemmings are creatures they explain the first sentence even if some kind of creatures let's say reptiles snakes they have a habit why are we troubled with their habits we don't get troubled with the habit of a snake right they were perplexed means confused and naturalists were bothered by them again bothered means they have some kind of effect out of that so here naturalist only naturalist cannot have effect from a habit of a creature small creature right so we can say they were confused because naturalists are the people who would be studying about the small creature so that is why they were confused that how do they come suddenly because if they would be affecting they will affect all the human race they won't just pick up naturalists and they will affect them right so the point here is whenever you have the first sentence given which is without a blank a complete sentence that always has some kind of importance it's not given without purpose it has some purpose only then it is given to you maybe it's important for you to understand what the story is and only then they give that sentence intentionally so the answer here will be a uh, naturalist were perplexed means they were confused by this habit of suddenly appearing in large numbers seeming out of dash this is a phrase seeming out of nowhere so out of nowhere is a phrase when you want to say you have no idea where something have has come from so what is the source of something if it is not known then we say out of nowhere so no source is known that where do they come from suddenly large numbers we don't have information about any source that is out of nowhere so please note it down then we can read it in the simple sense naturalist came to the conclusion that the animals were being generated in the sky and then falling to earth like rain the sentence is absolutely complete generated is a verb still we have a blank so we have to go with adverb anything that ends with ly spontaneously infrequently immediately or often so often means regularly so if they come regularly frequently then why are we confused why are we saying suddenly 
something which is regular cannot be sudden at the same time. So those those two are opposites of each other. Immediately means right now. So can we say animals were being right now generated in the sky? That's not possible. Infrequently means not frequently. But the answer should be spontaneously because spontaneously is an adverb which has two elements. One is something happening in the nature means it's not planned. It happens sudden. The element of sudden is there. And the element of something which happens by nature, something happen happening on its own, which nobody planned about. So that is why we are going with spontaneously because this is what the context was saying that they suddenly appear and they appear from the nature. We don't know where they come from. So they say some people also thought that lemmings explode if they become sufficiently angry. This is also a myth, of course. But they mostly channel their rage into fights with other lemmings. People probably came up with the notion of exploding lemmings after seeing the picked over lemming carcasses that were left dashed behind following a migration. Left behind is a collocation. This all of you are almost right. I see only one or two of you selecting left beyond. That's not a collocation, Shikha. Left behind is a collocation. But there is one myth that has held on tenaciously. Every few years, herds of lemmings commit mass suicide by dash sea cliffs. So to do the suicide, we have to jump from the edge of a mountain. So cliff means the edge of something. We cannot climb up to suicide, pass over a spring, jump off from the cliffs. Right, so these are the answers. The first one, naturalists cannot be bothered because they're not affecting them. They are not troubled. But yes, they are confused because they're studying them most probably. Second one, out of nowhere is a phrase. Spontaneously because that matches with the context. Spontaneously means suddenly, not planned and done by nature. Fourth one, left behind is a collocation. And for suicide, animals, birds, anybody has to jump off from the edge. <coughs> Any confusions, anyone? These are really good questions. These kind of questions do come in the exam. Okay. Question number three, you have two and a half minutes. Do you have one of the answers based on connector you have one answer two answers based on connectors one answer based on tense so please recall whatever you have learned in these classes about connectors and tenses only then select your answer
Okay, are we done? Two scientists, two scientists claim the news. Claim is to ask for your right on something. Manisha. In 2014, scientists dashed the first bit of good news on this topic. So scientists would be receiving good news on this topic because when you read ahead, you come to know that what is the topic and what is the good news. The first small increases in stratospheric ozone in more than 20 years had been detected. So scientists are the people who continue to study on things. So there would be a group of scientists who would be uh, studying the hole in the ozone layer. So they are saying that in 2014, they finally got a good news out of their experiments, out of their observations, that finally the ozone layer had the increases in the stratospheric ozone had been detected, which means that's going to improve. Dash evidence that ODCs had declined by 10 to 15 percent in the atmosphere. Because both of these things, one is increase in the stratospheric ozone and something decreasing both has been both have been written as an explanation of good news that means this decline is also something good so odc is something negative that has declined by 10 15 percent and both of these explanations come from the same topic that we have got some good news the ozone uh, stratospheric ozone is increasing and odcs are decreasing so two things we cannot put furthermore because we need a comma after furthermore in addition we need in addition to to put in addition in the middle of the sentence out of besides and along with besides is used when you want to say apart from and along with is when you want to say together with so here we cannot decide which of the news is more important if we can make an order that this is more important then we can go with besides because besides tell you that the second thing is also, uh, or the second we can say, um, the first or the second one out of them, one of them is more important. Then we use besides. But along with, when you want to give equal importance to both the things, then you can go with along with. So here we want to go with along with. We don't want to say apart from. And we don't, we don't want to neglect one thing and, uh, and emphasize on the other. That is when we use besides. So along with this better that we have got a good news that this is increasing. Also, the other thing is decreasing or together with the other thing is decreasing. So both the things together is a good news, right? Dash, they remained cautious. Eventually means towards the end. Yet means but still. However, but, but we need a comma after however. And already doesn't make sense. Already is when you complete something before time. So the answer here will be yet because we want to go opposite to the previous sentence. The previous sentence was a good news and the next sentence is saying they remained cautious. They did not enjoy, they did not celebrate. Rather, it's the opposite. They remained cautious. Cautious is something when you, when you don't celebrate, you say, okay, let's, let's still observe. Let's be cautious on what's happening. So that is why we'll go with yet. But still. They remained cautious. Even after getting the news, they did not celebrate. But still, they remained cautious. Some two years later, scientists got sufficient data to confidently reveal proof that the ozone layer was indeed on a path to dash. So, ozone layer was on a path to good news. Positive word. So, uh, on a path to upturn is a verb, I suppose. It's not a noun. Path to repair, recovery or resume. Resume is to start again. But because ozone layer is increasing, that means it's on a path to recovery. Recovery means getting better. It was not better. It was not good. And now it is improving. That is the meaning of recovery. The 2016 study observed that stratospheric ozone concentrations dash to increase. So I have missed this comma to comma part just to simplify the sentence. So the same thing. When you say the study is the noun, look for the verb. Where is the verb to match with study? The study observed that the ozone concentrations dash to increase and the size of the Antarctic ozone hole had declined. So what tense are we in? Obviously, it's a 2016 study. One hint is this. The second hint is we are in past tense in the same sentence with and in between. 
So obviously, we also have to follow past tense. And when we look at the options, there's only one past option that we have were continuing. And it's right because our noun was plural concentrations. We cannot go with present tense and would <laughs> also be something which did not happen. But this has happened. So ozone concentrations were continuing to increase and the size of the Antarctic ozone hole had declined. Why not repair? Because repair is something we use more with machinery. We cannot use repair word with the layer of the atmosphere. We won't be using that. And whenever, um, this is also one reason. The second reason is when we say path to. So path to recovery is a phrase. We also use it for human beings. He's on a path to recovery. So when a person is recovering from a disease or some injury, we can say he's on a path to recovery. So path to recovery go together, but otherwise also repaired cannot go with atmosphere or the layer of the atmosphere. The first one, we, we can say the scientists received the good news because they were working on that and they finally received good news. However, it comes with a comma kusum. The second one, these both the things together is the good news. So we have to go with together in between, which means along with. However, needs a comma, yet does not need a comma. So we go with yet, which means but still. Even after they got the news, but still they did not celebrate. They did not uh, make a public uh, statement about it. They still waited for two years to get enough data to confidently prove that yes, ozone is on the path to recovery. Recovery here means whatever losses ozone has suffered, whatever hole we had. It's, get, it's getting better. So that is recovery. Um, and the last one we needed past tense. So it will be were continuing. We cannot go with would continue because would continue is something that did not happen in the past and you were expecting something to happen. That is would, the past of will, but it means something that did not happen. That is when we say would continue. Or even we, we, we can use would in the future tense also. When you're not sure of something happening, you can say this would happen. Not 100% sure. That's what we just discussed, Zoya. We cannot use the word repair with path to dash. Path to recovery is a phrase. Path to repair. Do you think it is something complete? Ozone is, a, is on a path to repair. Ozone is on a path to repair itself, still feels complete. But ozone is on a path to recover, to recovery is better than to say ozone is on a path to repair. B is present tense in the last one and we need past tense. It is something that happened in 2016 and the sentence is also having past tense in it, had declined. So we cannot go with R. Right? Is it now clear with all of you? <clears throat> all right. Question number four on your screens. Two and a half minutes and then post your answers.
let's discuss the answers please post okay the first one mexico had been dashed economic political and social problems and some of you have written mexico had been suffering a human being can suffer problems a country cannot suffer problems for a country we it's better to go with experiencing because experiencing means like facing the problems mexico had been experiencing economic political and social problems dash the mexican revolution since comes with when you want to say from that time period meanwhile when one thing was happening at the same time as long as the mexican revolution doesn't make sense and including also doesn't make sense so have to go with since means from the time of mexican revolution they are facing these problems they are experiencing the problems meanwhile is used or street when you say that um there was world war 1 happening meanwhile india was suffering from polio so means when in the same time something else was happening then at the same time in the other place there were other things happening that is the meaning of meanwhile as a result many of the country's citizens immigrated to the us during the us involvement in world war first mexican workers helped support the us economy however after the great depression began in 1929 dash in the united states rose drastically and many us citizens blamed the mexican workers for taking their jobs so what rose drastically you should not stop unless and until you get the answer you understand the sentence you cannot now imagine that poverty rose or unemployment rose or rose or floods rose so there should be a hint in the passage so when they're talking about jobs so we have to go with unemployment with the dash unrest a number of mexican immigrants voluntarily returned to mexico now some of you have written a reinforcement here those who google a lot they have googled the meaning of reinforcement as increase and that is why they have selected the answer because i always keep on saying that if if you search a meaning on google always read examples and the context as well in which you can use that word as that synonym so reinforcement is used as a noun and we don't need a noun here with the unrest you needed an adjective what kind of unrest not a noun building increasing or mounting some of you have written increasing the right answer is mounting because mounting is used mounting is same as increasing but mounting is used with abstract things like you say mounting pressure because you cannot count pressure so you can say with the mounting pressure of work i have decided to resign so means with the increasing pressure of work on you the same way unrest is something which is instability so that cannot be counted so you will go with mounting unrest with increasing unrest so number of people they voluntarily make, uh, moved voluntarily means with their own wish they went back in some cases state and local authorities began repatriation campaigns to return immigrants even those who were legal us citizens it is estimated that between 4 lakh to 10 lakh mexican and Amer mexicans and mexican americans voluntarily left or were dash of the united states so or means the option either they went voluntarily or they were forced out because or shows either synonyms or antonyms that depends on the sentence so here or is used for antonyms means opposites either they went by their own wish or they were forced they were kicked out of that means forced out of the us you cannot say turned out turned out is when you want to say um the fruit didn't turn out sweet that is turn out conclusion kind of thing and were shifted off the doesn't make sense shifted where shifted out shifted to the other place shifted back to then it makes sense you cannot say americans were shifted off the united states what sense is it making rajni americans were shifted off the united states with off with single f <laughs> no meaning shifted off the sydney right so for a country for a name of a country name of a state it's better to say the state has been the country has been facing the problems that is experiencing since means from that time they are facing the problems and then the third one unemployment rate was simply based on the context and what type of unrest you needed an adjective so you go with mounting means increasing but mounting goes with abstract things 
and or here is used for antonyms which means either they went by their own wish or they were forced to go from there right any other confusions anyone in this question all good So question number five and the last one, reading, writing blanks on your screens, two and a half minutes and then post your answers.
Very good question. Okay, so now you have read the question, you have solved it. Answer this thing. Were the black children allowed to participate, or the context is saying that the black children were not allowed to participate? After reading the whole context, it is easy to know that they were allowed to, or they were not allowed to participate. Post it in the chat box. <coughs> Nobody knows. We solved it without finding this thing. So when I read the question, because the blank came too early in the first sentence, and also there were two blanks rather in the first sentence, so I read a bit ahead to know that. Let me understand the basic thing. Black children were sidelined dash participating in the national stage after this passage. So I wanted to know that were black children participating or they were not participating. Without that, I cannot understand. I cannot fill the blank. And when they said that even after schools were ordered to racially integrate, spelling bees were largely all white affairs. Thanks to regional organizers who routinely found ways to keep black children from dash in the contest. All white affairs means they were not allowed. So this is the basic thing. When the blank comes too early, read a bit ahead. Don't just focus on solving it. You will solve it wrong otherwise. At least find out what is the base of this story. The answer is from because sidelined means prevented. So black children were prevented from participating on the national stage dash well after the passage of 1964. Now, this answer was until, because until means till this time. And what is the time? Well after 1964. Well after means even a lot of years after 1964 civil rights movement. Till that time, they were not allowed to participate. They were sidelined from. Sidelined from means not allowed, prevented. Till this time period. Even after schools were ordered to racially integrate in the late 1950s, spelling bees were largely all white affairs, thanks to regional organizers who routinely found ways to keep interested black children from dash in the contest. They keep the black children from dash in the contest. So the answer was they keep the black children from advancing. Advancing means from entering in the contest. They found ways to keep black children from entering. Keep means to keep them out from entering in the contest. And entering means advancing. Advancing and also means to, to go ahead in the contest, to participate in the contest. Anything can mean advancing here. Avant-garde's victory is also significant because like with any sport, people love to celebrate new records. This one is welcome because with the exception of this win in 1998, the Scripps National Spelling Bee has never had a black winner. So this one is welcome. It is complete sentence. This one is also welcome, still welcome, especially or obviously. So this is especially. Why is this one so specially welcome? What is the reason for this one being so special? So here, the if you would have noticed, here your paragraph finished. Because that was one story that black children were not allowed to participate. And then they are giving the examples of when it started to happen. Then these things were especially welcome because these were new records. This one is especially welcome because this is the only person or before this, there was no black winner. This was the first one. This can be dashed to decades of disadvantage in which black schools had far fewer resources to support and train students for activities like spelling bees. Now, this can be means whatever we talked about in the last sentence. There was no black winner before this person. Why? This can be attributed to. Attributed to are two words which go together when you give the reason written after two. So you said that there, there has never been a black winner. Why? This can be attributed to and the reason is decades of disadvantage in the black schools and they had fewer resources and they could not train students for activities like spelling bees. 
So attributed to could be understood as because of. So you can write it down for your reference in future. It may seem surprising, but specialized brain sports like B and so many other contests require a great deal of dash, such as spelling coaches. So if you want to uh, become, participate or win in these kind of competitions, so you need specialized brain sports. If you want to participate in these specialized brain sports, then you need great deal of what? Mastery, judgment, the spellings are wrong, expertise and understanding. So great deal of expertise. You have to be expert in these things. Only then you can <clears throat> participate in these contests. Expertise means you have to be perfect. Perfect is not in the sense that you should be always quoting 100 marks. But expertise is you should be very good in this thing. Mastery is more used with hand skills like carpentry, plumbing, those um, professions we use with mastery. And great deal of understanding. See, if you want to be a winner in a spelling competition, there's no level of understanding that you require. You need expertise in spellings, not understanding of spellings. What is a, What are the spellings of judgment that you have written, Rajmi? And what are the spellings of judgment written here? The first line is sidelined from, which is prevented from until this time. And the time is well after 1964. Even after 1964, they were prevented. And they always used to found ways to keep black children from participating in the contest, which means from advancing, moving ahead, going into, entering, any of the things. And then the next paragraph starts, which says that this person's victory is significant, is important. This one is especially important because of one more reason. We give the second reason. And then this can be means you have to refer to the previous sentence. And the previous sentence said that there has never been a black winner. Why is it so? This can be attributed to means this can be because of. And the last one, if you want to master in brain sports, you have to be expert in these kind of contexts in this preparation of these kind of contexts. Like you need special spelling coaches who can make you expert in spells. Right, is it fine now? Always write down that always you will check the spellings in the exam. They will give you intentionally wrong spellings and you sometimes don't even notice. And you give... This is not a right question, Nishan. First of all, this is not the right question. You can have a question that what if this would have been in the options? If it is not there, if it, it is not there for a reason. Second thing, you don't need a great deal of judgment to become a winner in spelling competition. That's not something that you can judge. That's something you have to be an expert. You should know different kinds of spellings. You should know the use of IES, use of EI, basic rules like you should know when comes single S and when comes double S. You should know the difference between American and British spelling. So these are not judgments. These are expertise. You gain this knowledge. Right? Okay, moving on, on to reorders. The first question, two minutes and then post your answers.
so many times we have discussed the rule for question mark sentences in reorders i mean unlimited of the times if i ask you a question what is your name can you really answer so the question is what is your name and the answer is but i live in delhi first of all can you even start an answer to a question mark with but where do you live but my name is abc is it really possible to start an answer with however which means but is it not enough time that at least we should know the use of however connector because it's so common it almost comes in every test so the first sentence is the definition earth's protective ozone layer sits some 15 to 35 kilometers above earth's surface in the stratosphere this is a simple fact there's no problem no advantage no disadvantage just a fact that there is a ozone layer which is these many kilometers it is above the earth surface it is in the stratosphere this these sentences are called general sentences that ozone layer protective layer is here that's it now you start your story what is your topic about there is a problem stratospheric ozone layer is worrisome because the ozone layer effectively blocks certain types of uv radiation and other forms of radiation that could injure or kill most living <coughs> most living things so this is you first said that it is in the stratosphere and then you say the stratospheric ozone loss is worrisome this is the problem we have in the stratosphere and then you have these efforts where are the efforts so you first find out the efforts for 30 years countries around the world had worked together to reduce and eliminate the use of chlorofluorocarbons and other ozone destroying chemicals so 30 years countries have done this and that these are the efforts however scientists still could not say whether these efforts are helping you just mentioned and then only you can say these the last one is the c the question because we do not have the answer to the question given was the ozone layer actually healing itself itself means what ozone layer is healing ozone layer you are not here talking about healing from the efforts of the countries so those of you who have understood that was the ozone layer actually healing scientists could not say this is your assumption that this is what the story is you did not read the word itself was the ozone layer actually healing its own self nobody else and we don't have the answer whether ozone layer is healing itself or it is not healing itself what we know is only about what countries have done to heal it very easy question first of all these efforts was a hint one pair should have gone correct question mark the biggest hint whether i have the answer or i don't have the answer so two marks were sure for everybody so good harpal very well done <coughs> look at the second one two minutes for this
All right, let's discuss. This was a good question, an easy one again. So the first sentence is D, which most of you have got correct. Under the Bracero program, the U.S. government offered Mexican citizens short-term contracts to work in the U.S. And here we had the name of the government, U.S. governments. Uh, then was a reference with C, the government. So this is the full form, U.S. government. And now we are just saying the government so that we know which government. We are talking about the U.S. government only. Guaranteed that the bracelets would be protected from discrimination and substandard wages. This is we <coughs> where we got into. <coughs> sorry, we introduced a new uh, thing into it. First of all, you were talking about the program and the government, and now we are saying what the government guarantee. The government guaranteed that these people would be protected from discrimination and substandard wages. So now. Uh, there is one sentence which says these enticements. So we have to talk about some multiple enticements before the sentence comes into. And we have two sentences in which one is in addition. Mexican workers would receive this thing. That means there should be a sentence which should come before and tell what Mexican workers will receive. Because in addition means also they will receive this thing. So that's why B comes first when you say the pay for Mexican citizens would be the same for U.S. citizens working the same job in the same area. Means the Mexican citizens will get the same pay. Also, they will get free housing, healthcare and transportation. So connectors always make the question very, very easy. And once you talk about they will get the same pay and then they will get free housing, healthcare and transportation. Only then you can say these enticements. These means you just talked about these three. <coughs> so this was again a very easy question. Who has got a full score? Shikha, well done. Suganya, very well done. So it's important for you to note down the hints. Full form, half form. Always look for connector. Wherever you have the connector, read that sentence first. It will automatically tell you the story to come before the connector. In addition means also so I should look for something. What are Mexican workers going to get before they get this thing? Right? <coughs> so you get one mark for DC. And then C, A is wrong. A, B is wrong. B, E. You get one mark for B, E. <coughs> Two marks, Zil. So let's look at question number three. Two minutes to solve this and then post your answers.
Both very well done. This is done well almost by all of you. The first is A. Dante in full Dante. Alberi was an Italian poet, prose writer, literary theorist, moral philosopher, and political thinker. He is best known, so he is the pronoun. We'll come after the name, the uh, kind of introductory sentence. He is best known for the monumental epic poem later named this, which is called the Divine Comedy. So this is where we're introducing this name, the Divine Comedy. And then we'll refer to it saying Dante's Divine Comedy, which is a landmark in Italian literature among the greatest works of all. European literature is a profound Christian vision of humankind's temporal and eternal destiny. And then we have further explanation on its level. It obviously stands for non-living things. So we are referring to comedy here. That's why this will come later on. It draws on own experience of exile from the native city of Florence. So very well done. Good attempt. We really hope you get all questions like this in the exams because we don't really look at connectors and conjunctions. Okay, first question for reading blanks and you have two minutes. Post your answers once you are done.
two frequencies cannot be produced together they they can be produced at the same time because they are two different things so together will mean that both of them come together like one frequencies can be understood as the volume of the sound that's also frequency or the vibrations that sound create so it should be at the same time emperor penguins use the two branches to produce two different frequencies at the same time creating a beating amplitude pattern scientists have determined that these patterns carry enough individual information for the penguins to dash each other this was based on the context in the end you come to know that they, they, all these things they are studying is about their recognition so that is why we'll go with penguins to recognize not appreciate is not the topic it's recognize which is the topic the beating pattern can also be discerned more easily than a single voiced call over the background noise of a penguin colony and it passes more easily dash obstacles so with passes we go with through like i gave you the example pass through the tunnel so those who have noted down that example you should have referred to that example that you pass through means you go uh, and cross something that is pass through so pass through the obstacles you cannot say pass from the obstacles from is used with source of something previous experiments have shown that when emperor penguins are prevented dash vocalizing the word prevent always comes with from they have a hard time recognizing each other as individuals based on visual dash alone so they want to say if there is no voice <coughs> if they are prevented from vocalizing so they it becomes difficult for them to recognize each other based on visual means only by seeing without hearing anything so based on visual dash alone we have two nouns visual hints or visual cues we have discussed this also earlier out of hints and cues cues is more academic it means somewhat like hints only so we should go with the better academic word which is cues right so first one two frequencies cannot come together but they can come at the same time because they are two frequencies they are not one thing joined so they will have their own existence the second one was based on information the topic is about recognition third one pass comes with through pass through something fourth one prevent always comes with from and out of hints and cues they mean mostly the same cues is more academic so we should go with that any conclusions anyone so here you have the second question 2 minutes to post your answers for this
good very well done this says the old testament is a dash of writings and you have selected right a collection of writings because with a we need a singular noun but it also should convey something which can accommodate writings which is a plural word so we can say collection of writings that was first dashed and preserved as the sacred books of the ancient hebrew people so they have used past form we will also use past form and that verb should match with books so books are dashed and preserved books were compiled compiled is put together and then preserved means saved for the future generation as the bible of the hebrews and their jewish descendants down to the present these books have been perhaps the most dashed single factor in the preservation of the jews as a cultural identity and judaism as a religion this base makes sense according to the context also that these books have played a very important role in the preservation of this culture as well as in their religion so we'll go with they have played the most they have been perhaps the most dashed factor so we want to say they have been the most important factor so important means decisive here decisive is also used in, in the term when something is extremely very important <clears throat> the old testament and the new testament a body of dash that chronicle the origin so a body of something but then the verb is without s it is not chronicles if the answer would have been chronicles you need a noun which should be singular the verb is singular that means we need a noun which should be plural and there was only one plural noun no other one so we'll go with body of writings that chronicle the origin so those who did not check this thing please make a note you will always check the noun if you are selecting the verb and you will always check the verb if you are selecting the noun this rule comes in the exam in around 4 to 5 blanks so you can easily score plus 4 and plus 5 in your exam by just um keeping in mind one rule of grammar singular noun plural verb plural noun singular verb so here it was not important for us to know the meaning of chronicle no it was just important to notice this is without s so my noun should be with s and they have given you only one option which is plural writing smart work than hard work gives better result any confusion anyone in this question <coughs> Good, Suganya. Very well done. Singular noun comes with plural verb. Plural noun comes with singular verb. Chronicle is a verb here. <coughs> Question number three. Two minutes and then post your answers. Chronicle is a verb. Harpal. Chronicle is a verb.
All right, let's discuss the answers. Strong shape shifting has been reported in words. We have two adverbs. The sentence is complete unusually or particularly. Unusually is a negative adverb. How do we know this thing is unusual? There's no hint that the sentence or the paragraph wants to say that this is an unusual happening. So we'll go with particularly that we have seen this thing especially in birds. Dash species of Australian parrot have shown increase. Sorry, they have shown a 4% to 10% increase in bill size since 1871. So what we have in capitals is several and few. Again, we will not go with the negative side. Why will we say few species? Who told us that there were only few species of animals? So we'll go with the positive writing style that several species have shown this thing. And this is positively dashed with the summer temperature each year. So we can eliminate the ly words with is comes third form of verb. This is dash and the word should be matching with with. There's no choice that we have. The only option with past is correlated. This is correlated with the summer temperature each year. North American dark eyed jimpers, a small a type of small song word, had a link between increased bill size and short term temperature dash in cold environments. So you could have thought about increases and extremes both because temperature in, in um, temperature extremes is also a term. But when you look at the next sentence, you need increases here. Researchers have reported tail length dash in wood mice and tail and leg increases in shrews. So length is better to go with increase rather than temperature to go with ex, uh, increase. So that's why we have to go with temperature extremes and length increases. Because increases go with uh, quantitative things more. And temperature rise and fall can be extreme as well. Writes are particularly because we don't need a negative word. There's nothing negative in the context. Similarly, several is the positive writing style. Few means you should have the information that there were not many Australian parrots. So we don't have the information how many Australian parrots were there. So we'll say several parrots. And then with ease comes third form. There's only one given to us. Extremes and increases both matches in number four, but we need increases for the fifth one. So we'll go with temperature extremes and length increases. Any questions, anybody? All right, question number four. You have two minutes to post your answers for this one.
let's discuss so it says dash the giant panda is in practice a herbivore its system functions differently from herbivore so we have a contrast in this sentence whenever we have a contrast we go with although or despite the difference between them although comes when you have a subject plus verb both the things which is the case in this sentence the giant panda is the subject and is in practice is a verb so we'll go with although here not despite despite comes when you have only noun given no verb is given there so although it's a herbivore but its function its system functions different than the other herbivores dash the processes of natural selection the giant panda's dietary dash has strongly impacted the evolution of its teeth and jaws some of you have selected despite here i did not get the meaning because despite is used when the sentence has contrast there's no contrast they say dash the processes of natural selection its dietary dash has impacted the teeth and jaws so the sides are not opposite to each other so and also you should have made a note last week that through comes with processes through uh, comes with i gave you two examples through the tunnel that was one and through comes with methods ways processes so you should have uh, referred to that through the processes means using these processes the giant panda's dietary dash has strongly so has tells us that the noun has to be singular here so the panda's dietary dash has strongly impacted dietary comes with singular noun and we have only one preference there's no other singular noun that you have choice yeah we do have choice choice and preference means the same but preference is more academic so we should go with preference and then they say a panda have been the first in the world to solve the mystery of how the giant panda's special system dash the system is singular we need a verb with s and we have to how the system functions or how the system evaluates so evaluation is judging someone or something so we'll go with how the system works works means how the system functions and there's an in the end they say related to the consumption of bamboo the giant panda has a special dash of peeling the green outer skin of all bamboo shoots so has a special what a noun it has a special characteristic which is like a special feature of doing of peeling the green outer skin of the bamboo shoots right So the first one is although because there is a contrast that it is a herbivore but it is different than herbivore. So you need but in between. That's why we'll go with although. Even if you want to go with despite, you will need but in the sentence. In the second sentence, you don't need need but, so you cannot go with despite. So we'll go with through the processes. And has tells us that need a singular noun. So we'll go with dietary preference has impacted. System is singular, so we need a verb with s. How the system functions. because evaluates is to judge something and the last one it has a special feature feature means characteristic of doing this work any confusions anybody okay so these were all the questions that we had to do today i hope this would have been helpful to you and we do have a class tomorrow please try that you are as regular as you can and 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 keep referring to the notes that you are making which i believe you must be making now that you should have realized the importance of taking notes that they will be really really helpful to you